Please, Bisa Buena, tell us a story. We're not sleepy yet. Yes, please, Bisa. Tell us about when you were a little girl. Okay, okay, mis amores. But only one story. Then it's off to bed so that you can be ready for Bisa Buena's birthday tomorrow. Yay! Is Tio Joe coming too? Si, niña. Tio Joe will be here soon, but you must sleep first. Tell us about the old days, like about the cowboys and Indians. Wait, no, tell us about the outlaws. No, I don't want to hear about any nasty outlaws. They kill people, right, Bisa? Oh, Ranita, some outlaws did kill people, see. Some outlaws stole from people. Some, well, sometimes things are not always the way they seem. Sometimes the good men are not so good. And sometimes the bad men are not so bad. Oh, what's this? What is that book? It looks so old. That's Papa's book. He says it's magic. magic. A magic book? Never mind that. You wanted to hear a story, right? Take Billy the Kid, El Chivato, for example. Bang, bang! You're dead. I'm the kid, Visabuela. Mm -hmm. No, Tomas. From what I heard, that's not the way Chivato was at all. Look at this. This is God's country, huh, Lil? Beautiful here. It's very peaceful. Very remote. Just imagine, over 100 years ago, there was a war going on here. I mean, a real war with real men fighting and dying. You know, it's hard to believe it now. <laughs> it's hard to believe it. I'm actually, I mean, we're actually here. This whole trip's not going to be about Billy the Kid, is it, Martin? I mean, we're going to spend some actual time together doing some actual things with each other? Yes, of course. This trip is about us. This is just a nice, quiet place to get away from it all. Like, look, my phone doesn't even have a signal. Okay, so there's no distractions. It'll be perfect, I promise, okay? Here, kid. Get out of the road! Sorry. Idiot. My bad.
Lily Teague. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all ours. Welcome to our home. And welcome to the center of the Lincoln County War. Well, you had a long drive. Let's get you settled, huh? Don't get enchiladas like that in New Jersey. You changed your shirt. Oh, well, I thought it'd be more appropriate. No, it's nice. Yeah. You sure you won't go for a walk with me? Oh, you think, son? I'm exhausted from the trip. <laughs> I think I might go take a bath, read up on some things for us to do tomorrow. But you go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks. All right. Time. Don't get into any gunfights. Oh, I won't. <laughs> Kid. Ricky! I'm sorry. I've only been here a day. I've already met Billy the Kid. Ricky! Watch it. Oh. Excuse me, miss. What is this? Some kind of street theater? I mean, what time did it start? What the hell is this? I mean, where did it come? And what is that smell? Been some mistake? Oh, you Son of a bitch. You finally made it. Thieves! Your girl's been waiting for you. Don't keep her waiting too long now. <laughs> Who are you guys and how do you know my name? You got the consumption or something? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's good to have you back, Thieves. Mm. It's gonna be good to have another finger behind the figure tomorrow. Okay, so this is fun and all, but this is starting to get a little creepy. <laughs> Folks over the Casa de Patron put you guys up to this. What? Well, ain't got no place in this fight. Let us go from here. Those bastards from our people cause trouble in face. Yes. Tamesy! <laughs> Welcome back, you old son of the gun. Where the hell you been? Billy? <laughs> Billy the kid? <laughs> Billy will do his spot around here. <laughs> Who are you guys? How do you guys know my name? I mean, I just got here. <laughs> Just got here. Oh, that is rich. He just got here. <laughs> oh, oh no. son, you didn't just get nowhere, but you know, maybe you did just get back here. Back? I've never been here before in my life. Maybe you've never been here before in in your life. Oh my love. But uh, <laughs> sure as hell have that. I really gotta go. I mean, my wife's gonna be looking for me. Your wife? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you sure got her dander up. Oh, man. <laughs> Did I hear you say you were staying over at Juan's place? Casa de Patron? Yeah. Come on, let me walk you back. Oh, Teebsy. <laughs> is, is this all real? I mean, am I dead or something? Dead? Oh, hell, Teebs? Only one's gonna be dead of them Murphy bastards. They put John on the ground, and we're about to return the favor. Hey, uh, Billy. I appreciate you walking me, oh, but I think I just need a good night's sleep. Or maybe a good stiff drink. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sleep good. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, do yourself a favor. Don't come out tomorrow unless you're carrying this. Oh. Right. 
Can't take that. My wife would kill me. <laughs> All right then. But hey, uh, you know, you best not mention your wife to Rosita. Otherwise, uh, be another one of them. Sleep tight, lover boy. And Teeves, change them damn clothes. Make the Murphy boys laugh themselves to death. <laughs> oh, I've missed him. <laughs> Sorry I fell asleep so early. No, it's okay. That was a long flight and a long drive. <sighs> Where'd you go last night? Um, I just walked around, talked to some locals. Locals? I didn't see another soul on the street when you left. Who was there to talk to? Just some guys. They probably lived nearby. They were just walking around. <laughs> were they nice? Mm-hmm. This one guy was really friendly. I just don't think they talked to a lot of strangers at all. You got that shirt on again. Yeah, it was a real hit last night. Yeah, you like that shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now that you got your sightseeing time, what would you like to do today? Did you know that Smokey the Bear is buried in Capitan? Uh -huh. mm. I didn't know that. And I heard that uh, Rio Doso has some amazing shops. We should go there too. What did you have planned for us? Um, maybe just stay here this morning? Taking the sights from the porch? We, we could always do lunch in Rio Doso. I want to see some things besides this dusty old town. You know, I'm going to go shower and get ready. If you want to take in the sights, now's your time to do it. Good morning, Lily, Martin. I hope you slept well. Check out these melons I got from the garden. This small one. And there's a big one, Martin, if you'd like it. it smells good, huh? Check that one out. It's really, really firm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really firm. Oh, I'll catch up. Will you help me with my purchases later? I'd be happy to, Mom. Mm. I got something I gotta do in the court right now, and I'll catch up with you later. Oh, thank you so much. Good day, Mom. Him, French, get that son bitch Matthews. Y'all leave Brady for me. Bastard. Kim goes, we do this for John. Yeah. Always let's do this. Oh my God. 
Teebs, shouldn't have left the house this morning without Sam Colt by her side. You killed him. Brady's dead. Oh, don't worry about that none, Teebs. Brady wasn't going to live much longer anyway. No one tied to Murphy is. Buddy, God damn you! God, what did I do? Well, Teams, you might just saved I, my life. Nope, nope, Billy, I killed him. <sighs> Listen, Teams, I like you, but I'm gonna have to get the hell out of Lincoln. The heat's gonna be coming down hard, and you just killed a lawman. And when you kill a lawman, you, you hang, right, Billy? Yeah, yeah, you hang. So, get back to uh, where the my hell it is you came from. <sighs> Don't go telling your wife about Rosita, neither. I was just showing Lily pictures of old Lincoln here. This here is Al G. Murphy. I believe he's the whole reason this started. Here we have John Tunstall. Mighty fine gentleman. Really amazing guy. I believe you recognize him. He was really famous. Oh, and this pretty little thing over here, this is Rosita Luna. And that's her baby, Martin Jr. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> and she never married. And no one ever knew who the father was. Oh, and this here was right before the gunfight at Blazer's Mills. Buckshot Roberts got Dick Brewer in that one. But the kid, he didn't even have a scratch. Sleep, huh, Henry? Excited about your birthday party? Damn, Doc. You know I ain't. One year older and one year closer to the grave. I can't sleep no more, no way. July the 16th, 1945. That makes you, how old? 86? <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Now me, I ain't deserving. Those kids love you, that's for sure. Yeah, they do. Sometimes I think I stay alive just so they don't have to see me die. I'm tired, Joe. 
part of it all. How do you live with... Tired. Just so damn tired. My grandson sent me a postcard from Germany. War's about to be over. Hitler's dead. Madman. Our boys turned into some regular Nazi killers. Taking down the bad guys. Our boys. World War II is coming to an end, finally. We lost too many good boys. Now all we gotta do is figure out how to get the Japs to give it up. Wonder what we got cooking for them. You think there's gonna be a World War III, Doc? For sure someday, it'll be here. Long as men been alive, they've been worn. Of course, you know that better than anybody. War ain't good for nothing. Except killing and dying. Then don't change a damn thing. Not a damn thing. You still at war, Henry. You still fighting. I dream about the boys. I can't help it. Damn near every night. I ought to be with them. They ain't supposed to be here. This, this damn book. Come on, amigo, cheer up. Let's celebrate your birthday. Let's celebrate you beating the Grim Reaper one more. Appreciate the being here, Doc. I know you ain't have to come all the way out here to Magdalena no more. All I ever brought you was trouble. Anyways. I appreciate it, my friend. Come on. Let's get us some coffee for those kids wake up again. Must be damn near 5.30. Bags in the car. Damn. I left the keys back there. Here. You stay here.
Junior. Uh, excuse me, is this where we check in? Says that Billy Bonnie's 